So I started making games 8 years ago and originally I was making arcadey kind of games but quickly I started making them with more authored content. My first commercial game was a metroidvania and this genre is incredibly content focused because you spend so much time making the levels that you explore. This was a great experience for making levels so I became a better level designer really fast and I actually eventually got into being a freelance level designer. But if I were to do things again, I would focus on games with less authored content and practice my macro design instead of level design. So if we were to put games on a spectrum from authored content heavy games to not, the kind of game with the most authored content is something like The Last of Us. It has tons of handcrafted levels and fine tuned details. On the other side of the spectrum, you would find something like a classical roguelike, like Rogue, which is basically entirely systems dependent. So what I'm saying is, if you're a beginner, you practice better skills in my opinion if you make something like Rogue instead of something like The Last of Us. The issue with making something like The Last of Us as a beginner is that you spend so much time making levels that you can't iterate as quickly. I'm finding this out right now with one of the games that we're making, Synth Beasts. It's kind of like Zelda, but instead of using items, you catch Pokemon-like creatures and use their abilities. The game is super fun and unique, but the content is basically entirely authored, which makes it more time consuming to iterate on. On the other hand, we've got our early access title, Soulstalker, which is a roguelike. This game has very little authored content because it's mostly systems driven. This isn't to mean that it takes less time or that it's easier to make the game, but it does make it much easier to iterate on. Iterating doesn't involve redoing entire level blockouts, it mostly involves changing systems and tweaking them. So consider this, if you're a beginner, would you rather iterate on systems and authored content or just iterate on systems? In my opinion, you improve as a designer much faster by just iterating on systems, and then once you get to the point where you're improving less quickly as a designer, then it makes more sense to make more authored games. I thought I'd come up with some examples of games on the spectrum in case you wanted to follow this video in your own game development journey. Something with very little authored content might be something like an arcade game like Pong, and then if you go up a level, you'll get roguelikes like Rogue, Slay the Spire, or Enter the Gungeon. Right in the middle, I would put turn-based RPGs like Final Fantasy or Paper Mario. I had to think really hard about this one, but because combat is so systems heavy, you end up doing lots of non-authored design work, especially if you have like a Final Fantasy styled world map. I think the more combat heavy your game is, the more non-authored it is, and hence the more beginner friendly it is. Then one level above this, I would put something like platformers, like 3D platformers or metroidvanias, and then at the very end, I put story focused experiences like The Last of Us. Obviously, all of these game categories could be tweaked to be made a bit more author or a bit less author depending on what kind of point in the journey you are, but you know, that's kind of what it is. So if you like this video, our game, Soul Stalker, just came out two weeks ago and I'd super appreciate it if you bought it. It costs less than five US dollars. And also if you've played it and enjoyed it, leave a review. It helps us so much. That's it for this video. Let me know if you want to hear any more of my game development thoughts and I'll see you next time.